Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rafe Gal. We're gonna go ahead and jump in with Operation Gasping Tongues in XCOM 2, or the Chosen. Uh, again, I've kind of redecorated another squad. Uh, these, this group has a bond from their mission earlier. So I figured let's keep going. I'm kind of just having fun with it, experimenting a little bit. Um, we'll see how it actually works, but we've got one of each class. Uh, they have personal bonds uh, that are pretty high with everyone, and then also with uh, Outrider. But we're not Red Reapers in right now, so yeah, until we name them. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Again, we've got one of each. Uh, this is going to be apparently our blue team. Sky <laughs> I'm really excited about this mission type because it's different than the other ones. The goal isn't to clear the entire board, it's just to beat the enemy commander. I'm curious if that means there's going to be unlimited enemies coming at us, which is also cool. <laughs> opportunity to disrupt Advent's operations and delay their current plans. One of their field commanders has decided to tour the actual <clears throat> field, and we're going to make sure he never leaves there alive. Once you hit the ground, find our target and eliminate him as quickly as possible. Okay. So, most likely... This is going to involve Sam and Mark providing support for Jim and Heidi. Menace 1-5, we're tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. Remember, Commander, there are extremely volatile materials scattered throughout this area. We need to make sure our troops are clear of any possible explosions. Okay, so it looks like this is a bottom left corner, so it is going to be... Closing on target position now. One of these two directions. I need to change Mark's voice at some point here. I'm on the move. And gems. <laughs> Move. Sure. Let's do this. We do start uh, concealed here, which is nice. That's affirmative. Scanning. Orders confirmed. On the move. I do not know what all explodes here. I'm guessing it's this. Um. Like these barrels. On the move. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have Actually, we're gonna have Sam. Move up to. Let's go. Here. Copy that. See if she can see anything. Still not seeing anything. Okay. We'll have Mark do. Like over here? I'm all over. Again, their main purpose here. Rolling out. I mean, they may still contribute. I'm not ex not expecting them to contribute, but once we find the enemy leader, especially assuming that he is not easy to, you know, just knock out in one go. Um. My assumption is going to be out. that Jim 
taking shots with his rifle or uh, Heidi going in with a sword is going to be the thing that's really going to be able to focus him down and take him. Unfortunately, the voice acting in XCOM 2 has been ruined for me by Critical Role. Okay. <clears throat> Which I think I've mentioned in my first run. Um, Matthew Mercer, who is the Dungeon Master on Critical Role, uh, which is a podcast where voice actors play D&D. Um, it is very good. You should check it out if you have not. Um, but he's the Dungeon Master on it and is... Uh, does a lot of voices in it because he plays lots of NPCs, and he also plays several or has several of the soldier default soldier voices in this, and I think the like second in command you have as well, and uh, <coughs> Moving to designated position. pretty much because I've heard his voice doing or heard him doing so many different voices, I tend to recognize him. I'm becoming curious if this guy is actually oh, out in the open or if he's like inside a building and we're gonna have to start like opening door or kicking down doors. Cause that would also be really cool. Moving to position. Getting excited. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna have Jim move over here first. On my way. Heidi, come out here. Um, I mean, I'm still not seeing much beyond that location. one. Crap. So the citizens are probably going to notice her next turn. Um, let's go, like, here. Heading there now. That'll put him into position to start shooting next turn. Uh, we'll have... Mark go... Down here. Put him to position. He can actually see already. I'm just gonna go ahead and do an Overwatch conceal until I can actually get everyone involved. Um, fortunately, Sam is not really in a good spot yet. Honestly, Heidi's not even in a great spot. We'll have her Location come up confirmed. over here. She can drop down wherever she needs to next time, or shoot from the roof. She can move and shoot. Snipers can't move and shoot in the same turn. Which is why I moved Jim all the way up to the front right away. As long as he has a line of sight, he should be able to get a shot up. Pretty awesome. Through place. two windows. So I'm purposely triggering that because that'll make the enemy move out from behind the building, which he apparently decided to move way out into the open. Which I guess I'll take. Moving out. So we're gonna have Sam move up here. She gets height advantage. Negative damage. Okay. I got nothing. 
Darn it. And Heidi's not actually close enough to do a lot of stuff, so I think I'm just gonna have her move up here. And Overwatch. Come on. Scanning. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the chip from the AO. Don't let them get on board that ship. That is not good. Okay. That's not good. So Heidi still doesn't have a good shot. Let's do that. Let's see how many high explosives you're laying around. Not not, not any right there, apparently. Enemies down. Okay, so that eliminated Jim's panic. And the enemies are down. Uh, apparently we this is where he's going to be fleeing to within six turns so we should probably head that direction to stop him from getting there Part of me wants to risk this, and part of me is really terrified. You know what? We're gonna try it. Stepping off. I believe in you, Jim. Okay, so my goal now is going to probably be to reveal. Position confirmed. Nice. Target identity confirmed. That's the general. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. Got some advent here. Oh, that's a nice barrel you're standing next to. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm really hoping that this actually works, because he's standing next to an explosive barrel right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and have her do a, a frag grenade, which should hit him and hit the barrel, which is going to hit him again. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Oh. I mean, <laughs> that was a heck of an explosion. There's probably not too much left, but. Moving to Overwatch. Is there a reason we can't just extract with the body? That's affirmative. Okay, we saw movement inside this. So I'm gonna go ahead and that's a explosive barrel. Let's not take cover there. Yeah, right there, there's a guy. Okay. So let's see if we can draw him out. Got it covered. I'm gonna have Sam run up here. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Perfect. 
So that'll make them shift positions into something that might be easier for the rest of the team to deal with. Quite enough to finish off the stun lancer if she goes in that way. Um, let's see if we can do like. Let's move him up over here. It's just a little bit, but I'm hoping. Not quite. Okay. gonna move her up Pooh. that's a bit too reckless I think that's better Still not great, but it's better. She at least has cover on one, a uh, solid cover on one side, even though it's, she's right there. It forces them to stay on the defensive there. And they're going after Sam anyway. Nice. Okay. I think this is where it might get a little rough. So we're gonna start off with this. Miss the target. Come on, Jim. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Mark up here and see if he can get a better shot. And then I'm going to realize that I forgot to put a med kit on him. And now I'm going to be sad. Target down. My ammo's running low. Okay, so we need to take that guy out to eliminate his panic state. Crap. So Jim is out of sniper rifle ammo, which is great. Uh, the good news is that means that we have a turn to move him a little bit closer and then reload. Rock and roll. Um, this is really not good. <laughs> I think we're actually going to move back with her. We're going to do... We're gonna do this.
which leaves him exposed. And see if Sam can finish him. Perfect. No that was team. Remove Mark's panic. I don't know if that's the last guy, but it might be. Grenade! So on the off chance that's the last guy. We have confirmation. Mission yep. accomplished. Okay. Apparently location one, if we zoom out, has stuff in front of them. Do like, uh, let's see. Kind of like this wedge. Thing a little bit better. Let's do like a. Yeah, that works. I don't know how much we actually got as far as XP goes. <clears throat> Didn't seem like there were a lot of level notifications Access there. Officials confirmed reports today of an attack on a prominent citizen by the criminal organization known as XCOM. Though the XCOM radicals fled the area soon afterwards, peacekeeping forces assure us they will soon be brought to justice. Okay. So these guys are going to be out of... Oh, all of them got promotions. Nice. And they built some really good cohesion. These guys are actually pretty much maxed out. I'm curious. Okay. Grant an additional action point to a bond mate. So... Uh, kind of Sam and Mark. Oh, apparently once you do that, it locks it in. I'm not sure... Well, no, I think we will. Okay, so I'm gonna leave Jim as a sniper sniper. I did get some requests regarding pistols. Uh, Blade Master, Shredder, Medical Protocol. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. So, Mark and Sam. What? Bond photo? Okay, I'm just curious what it would be. <laughs> okay, while that is clever, uh, no. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. We got a random person as a specialist, which is really obnoxious because I have like three other people that still haven't gotten recruited yet. That are like, yeah, like a bunch of, well, yeah, these guys. So apparently I need more people to put into the pool. 
That's basically what I'm hearing. Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the resistance. Oh, wait, what? Um, I don't know who this is going to be yet, so I'm just going to leave it for now. So, all four of that team got promoted. And these two are wounded, but we should be good there. Go ahead and right here. Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It looks like an encoded signal from the resistance. Patching okay. it through to your quarters now. Seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. If it was your intention to aggravate me further by seeking the aid of those traitorous dogs, then you have succeeded! Hmm. Avenger okay, new well, I'm gonna go back to my scientists that I've been trying to recruit. I will spread fear across this world. All will know what lies ahead. Okay. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and our spring. What the heck? Okay. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. 
Hooray, quests. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I guess we can do this right right now. So let's do that. Though I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, I less skipped the goo last variant time. of the sectoid. We're going to let the goo go. In the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. I received complaints last time about the lack of goo. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement regardless of the risks okay the advent officers appear to be similar if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. From my own experience, advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities, at least the ones I had access to personally. If they have gone to the trouble of hiding this black site, I suspect our findings there will lead us to even greater questions. Okay, let's finish the scientist. We're like so close. <laughs> okay, we'll check out the covert operations table. Commander, the factions you have contacted are well equipped to track down the Chosen. Their knowledge will be invaluable in helping XCOM locate and eliminate these threats. The benefits we gain from working with the resistance factions on their covert operations are a major boon to our efforts, but there are also risks involved. Our soldiers could potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field, so it's not as easy a decision as it may seem. Word is we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. So we can put soldiers in here to increase their bond and lower the... We can't do that. We can't do that. We need sergeant, sergeant, sergeant. Moderate chance of risk of wounding their long duration and we don't have the ability to negate the risk. This gets a soldier an extra health, a bonus to combat intelligence, and I can bo just toss a scientist in to negate the risk. Let's do it. Who needs a, who needs a health 
somebody like let's see let's do Jared uh, since he's a ranger he'll be more on the front line and we'll toss a soldier in negate the risk he's gonna get some bonuses firm action Work hand in hand with our new allies. We already have a covert operation underway, Commander. Okay. And now I know it takes that some time to complete. We can only do one to time. That's okay. I'm guessing the upgrade might do. Yeah. We can have two. If it, if we do that. Okay. Let's go back out in the field here. Um, I think let's finish. Let's try and finish making contact here and see if we can take out the black site, I guess. Or we can go over here and get some more soldiers. Part of me is really hesitant about this because the last I keep getting rookies that I, I don't want because I want my named ones. Um, yeah, and that one's eight days and it's way over there. So we're going to go over here. We're going to finish this. I want this connection. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however. It's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Apparently we get all the cutscenes. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. Okay, so that gives us the skull jack. Tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this skull jack that Tigan came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Okay. Just processing. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Although Advent 
clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city huh. centers. Those are it new seems items. They have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. That's why. Okay, so this is for skirmishers. And that's the normal arc blade. Which is really good. So the choices now are we can do this, which will give us our next excavation project instantaneously, which is actually really good. That puts us a lot of time ahead. Or we can do the data pad decryption. These other ones are all fairly long except for this one, which I'm not really too concerned with. Although we could just do it and get it over or get the autopsy goo over with, I suppose. But I think we're gonna do this because we have see that or we don't have another time to do it. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. As long as it doesn't overlap in such a way that this uh, that it tries to do it on this. I will be okay. I will be very frustrated and I'm actually tempted to delay it. We're gonna go ahead and make contact. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Okay. Okay. Well. Setting course for sector one. I suppose all those decisions can wait. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead. Command, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. We're gonna back out. As per usual. Actually, what's the? Let's see. Oh, this is our first moderate. So, okay, I am going to back out. We're going to save. And I'm going to end this video. Uh, if you're enjoying, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, if you would like to be involved with the project, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave those in the comments. And as always, have a good one.